right, so in repliance to this quote right here, or this question right here, um, on the install on AFC Live, not a difficult install by any means. The biggest thing you're going to run into is finding a spot in which you actually want to put it. Let me show you. So if you guys seen my video, I mount it right on the uh, lower dash panel there and just run my lines back under, excuse the mess, back through to the uh, plug that's in the back there um, that goes right into the engine bay. Now, as far as the install goes, if you've already gutted the AFC housing, you've already pulled the fuel plate, you can pretty much just go ahead and leave it as is. And you're going to go ahead and swap out the fitting on the back side of the AFC housing, as well as the fitting that is mounted into the intake shelf there. Basically, that line right there that's usually a boost reference line for your AFC is now going to be used to basically go from one end of the, uh, one end of the AFC Live back into the... Um, uh, back side of the AFC housing. Now, as far as controls go, there's two knobs and obviously the full fuel switch um, that's obviously achieving all the fuel that that pump can put out. Now, adjustments aren't really that difficult. The smaller knob is going to be your fuel rate. So think of it as if you're thinking of the AFC housing itself, you have the quote unquote smoke screw and then you have the power screw. So your fuel rate is your smoke screw essentially. So if you're Wanting to have more acceleration, obviously you'd want to have a higher fuel rate. Now, if you're looking for overall power, that's when you would adjust the larger knob I'll show you. All right, so the biggest thing is here, everybody asks about the gauge. The gauge is the boost pressure going into the AFC housing. Then we go over to fuel rate, which again is going to be your uh, quote unquote fuel, your, your smoke screw or what have you. That's your acceleration right there. And overall power is going to come from this knob right here. Now, you're going to use a number of ways to tune this. All right, so I would really highly look into an EGT gauge. Your EGTs are going to vary how much you actually want to adjust the max power screw. And obviously, how much comes out of the exhaust pipe. So basically, if you got a lot of smoke rolling out of there, maybe you want to cut back on the uh, max power screw. Depending on your situation, how you want to drive, man. I, I'm not you, so hey, whatever. One last thing I will tell you, if the pump is pretty much stock and you're running stock delivery valves, those will be more responsive to AFC live tuning. Now, if you run like I do, 7 millimeter delivery valves, the tuning is slightly off a little bit and really doesn't give you the benefit of a smaller delivery valve. Again, delivery valves are your duration. So, hope this helps you out, man. Hit me up if you have any other questions going down the line.